여러분 안녕하세요. 저는 고엔이라고 합니다. Today we are going to learn about verbs in the past tense and like how you conjugate those. Um, don't worry, it's not super different than the present tense conjugations which we learned last week. Um, but if you do need a refresher on those, please go watch the last week's video first on present tense verbs. Um, so without further ado, we're going to learn past tense verbs. <laughs> Okay, so just a couple reminders for you guys. Do you remember that there's two types, there's two like ways of speech in Korean? There's chondetmal, which is the formal form, and then there's panmal, which is half speech or the casual form. Um, so I just left a couple reminders up there for you if you need to remember uh, the difference between those. And then also that all verbs and adjectives start out in the da form. So this is the dictionary form and we never really use this in a sentence. So we're always going to want to drop the da um, when we're conjugating verb forms. Okay guys, so like I said before, we're gonna the first thing we're going to do is drop da and then we're going to add the appropriate ending. So just like we learned in um, last week's video, if the verb ends with the vowels o or a, then we're going to add the a yo ending. And if it ends with anything else, literally anything else, then add all yo. But if the verb ends in ha, um, then we're going to add yo yo to make he yo. Uh, so this is for the present tense, just as a reminder on the conjugation. So if we look on the right side, I left a couple examples for us. There's kada. So we remove da first, and then it would be ka a yo that we would add. But since it's just repetition, we just shorten that for ease of pronunciation. So it's ka yo. And then the casual form, we just take off yo for the, to make it casual. So it would just be ka. If you're speaking to someone younger than you or um, like a child um, or a friend the same age as you. <laughs> um, so then we have mokta, which means to eat, um, which you just remove da. And then you add all yo, because remember, mok, the last verb is all, so we add all yo. So mogo yo means eat. And then the casual form is mogo. And then I'm just going to go through these quickly because you guys already know the conjugation rules. So then on the left side in the middle, we have chada, which means to sleep. So that would be cha ayo, but we shorten it to make it. Jayo. And then cha is casual because we just removed that yo. Uh, the verb form for hada is to do. Uh, it means to do. And then we make that heyo and just remove the yo to make it hey. If we want to tell someone do something or or I did that, just say hey. <laughs> um, so then the bottom left we have patta. Patta means to receive something. So the formal form would be padayo because we the last uh, vowel is a right so we would add ayo so padayo and then pada is the casual form um, and then our last verb is manada manada means to meet so when we conjugate it we make it manayo and then manna is just uh, the casual form. All right, hopefully that last slide rung a couple bells for us. Um, now we are on to past tense conjugations, and I promise this is not super different from the present tense. Um, so if we look here, our past tense verb endings are atta, otta, and yotta. So we're really just adding a double shiit, that sound. Um, but remember, when it comes at the bottom, it makes sort of like a, like a, not a T sound, but it cuts off the sound. So we're not going to say S, we're going to say A. Um, so, for example, if the verb ends with O or A again, then we add ASAYO. ASAYO. If it ends with anything else, then we add OSAYO. OSAYO. And then for HADA, of course, um, we add YOSAYO to make Hesayo. Hesayo. Um, okay, so if we look at the right hand side of our screen, 
then we have the example kada. Remember that the present um, conjugation, the present tense conjugation of kada was kayo. Well, now in this way, we just add, like I said, the double s sound um, and then oyo. So kasayo. Kasayo. So we're never going to have kasayo. So all of it's going to be the double s, the double shi plus oyo. And then to make it casual again, all you have to do is drop the yo. So it'll just be kasa. Kasa. And kada again means to go. So if you say kasa yo, it means like I went. Um, and then verb, uh, the next verb form is motta, which means to eat. And remember the present tense of that is mogoyo. But if we want to do past tense is mogosoyo. So ta mogasoyo, why? Because of the o is the last um, vowel in the verb stem, mokta. So mogosoyo. And then the casual form would be mogoso. The verb form jada, meaning to sleep, um, the present tense was jayo, and the past tense is jasoyo. So jasoyo means I slept. Um, and then jaso is casual form. So hada, remember heyo is our present tense form. And then the formal form for like I did that is hisoyo. Hisoyo. And then the casual form is hisso. And then the bottom left corner we have pata again to receive. So pada soyo. Pada soyo. That means I received something. <laughs> and then casual is padaso. The last one we have is manada. Again, is to meet. And um, the formal present tense form was manayo. I meet or you meet. Um, but the past tense form is manasayo. I met. Manasayo. And then casual form is just manaso. So please review these slides if you need more um, clarification on uh, any of the past or present tense verb conjugations. And then we are going to look at some sentence examples in a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean right now. <laughs> Let's take a look at some of these sentence examples just to get it more solidified in our brains. Okay, so here are um, the sentence examples. This one is for jada, which means to sleep. Um, I did most of these sentence examples in like conversation format. So you'll see like person A, person B. So our first, our person A says, Oje chai jasayo. Oje means yesterday. Chai means well. Uh, so if you place it in front of a verb, it means did you do that verb well? So jasayo. Jasayo comes from jada, of course, meaning to sleep. Um, and then jasayo means did you sleep well yesterday? <laughs> so all day, chai jasayo. Did you sleep well yesterday? And then person B says, aniyo mot jasayo. Aniyo means no. And then mot means can't. Um, but it can also mean don't in certain scenarios. So basically, it's just the negation of the verb. It's kind of like showing a lack of ability to do the verb. Uh, so again, we have mo in front of jasoyo. So I couldn't sleep. I did not sleep well, basically. Um, so oje chai jasoyo, aniyo mo jasoyo. Okay, person A this time is saying, Sengil, Sengil means uh, birthday. Sanmur, Sanmur means present. So, Sengil Sanmur is birthday present. <laughs> and then, Onje, Onje means when. And then, Padasayo. Padasayo, of course, is the past tense of Pada, which means to receive. So, Sengil Sanmur, Onje Padasayo. When did you receive your birthday present? When did you get your birthday present? And person B says, 생일날에, 생일날 is like your, the day that your birthday is on. 
Um, and then E is the location or date marking particle. Um, so we can put this uh, after dates as well as locations to say that it happened on that day. And then padatjo, padatjo. It means like, of course, I received it on my birthday. Um, so sengi nare padatjo. Don't pay too much attention to jo at the end. It's just, um, I'm just trying to show you like various, like a, a wide variety of the ways that Koreans can end their sentences, but you could say sengi nare padasoyo too, and it would be um, like the same the same thing. So sengi sammure onje padasoyo, sengi nare padatjo. Okay, this time person A is saying. 금요일에, 금요일 means Friday. 에 is again that location marking particle. 친구를, 친구 means friend. And then 만났어요, 만났어요 is the past tense of 만나다, which means to meet. So 금요일에 친구를 만났어요. Did you meet your friend on Friday? And then person B says 아니요. No. 금요일에, on Friday, 친구가, my friend, 바빠서, 바쁘다 means um, to be busy. So, and then when we add 아서 or also, it means like because of this reason, something happened. So, 친구가 바빠서, because my friend was busy, 못 만났어요. I couldn't meet them. Or we didn't meet. So, mot again, like we talked about earlier, means like uh, to not have the ability to do the verb. So, and then manasayo comes from manada, again, to meet. Um, so, kumyuire chinguru manasayo. Anio, kumyuire chingu ga papa so, mot manasayo. Okay, this time person A is saying, jinan jue. Jinan means something that passed, and then ju is like a week. So the past week, so last week is what jinanju means. And then e is the location or date marking particle. So on last week, <laughs> um, namja chingu, namja means guy and then, or boy, and then chingu means friend. But when you put them together, it's just like in English. Namja chingu means boyfriend. And then rang, uh, that character right after namja chingu, rang means with. But if the noun that comes right before rang ends in a consonant, then you would just add e rang. So that's why I put in the vocab section sometimes e. So like if you if you went somewhere with me, for example, gu wen e rang kasayo. I went with Gwen. Gwen Iran. But here, Chingu ends in a vowel, so we can just say Iran. So, Jinanjue, Namja Chingu Iran, last week with my boyfriend, Miguge Kasayo. Miguk is America. So, and then we've got that location marking particle again. And then Kasayo, I went to America with my boyfriend last week. 지난주에 남자친구랑 미국에 갔어요. And then person B is like really jealous. So like, 진짜요? 진짜요? 진짜 means really? Oh my gosh, like really? <laughs> You'll probably hear this a lot in Korean dramas. Um, and then 부러워요. 부러워요 comes from 부럽다, meaning to be like jealous or envious. Um, so, 지난주에 남자친구랑 미국에 갔어요. <gasps> 진짜요? 부러워요. I'm jealous. <laughs> okay, I know this dialogue looks kind of long, but bear with me. Um, so, 연필 means pencil, and then 빌려주다 means to lend something. So, when you say 빌려주세요, it means lend me whatever you put in front of the verb. So, 연필을, 연필을 빌려주세요. Please lend me your pencil. Or can I borrow your pencil? So we remember that 주세요 means please like give me or do something for me, like a favor. 
Um, so yes, 연필을 빌려주세요. And then person B says, 엥? 엥? <laughs> 엥 is kind of like the Korean, huh? Like what? Um, 어제도, 어제 means yesterday. And then 또 means also. So it means kind of like, I also gave it to you yesterday. Like I also let you borrow one yesterday. What the heck? Where did that go? So 엥? 어제도 빌려줬어요. 빌려줬어요 is the past tense of 빌려주다. So I lent it to you yesterday too. And then person A again says 미안해요. 미안해요 means um, it comes from the verb 미안하다, meaning to be sorry. So 미안해요 means sorry. 그 연필을, that pencil, 잃었어요. 잃었어요. 잃다 means to lose something. So again, the past tense of that would mean that they lost that pencil. So, 연필을 빌려주세요. 엥? 어제도 빌려줬어요. 미안해요. 그 연필을 잃었어요. Um, and again, any of these like dialogues or whatever, if you want to pause after I say it and then try and repeat them for pronunciation practice, that would be awesome as well. Okay, just one final thing to go over before I um, end this video is itta and otta. These are two very, very important words, uh, verbs to know. Um, so itta means to exist or like to have something. Um, and then opta means to not exist. So here are a couple of sentence examples for you um, with those because you will hear the reason I, I find this so important to introduce to you guys before I just let you go um, is that you will hear these an awful lot in Korean. So it's good to get familiar with them now. Um, so if we look in that second box there, 남자친구, remember we said that was boyfriend, 있어요. Do you have a boyfriend or is there a boyfriend that exists? So it sounds weird when you break it down, but in the pragmatics of the situation, in the actual cultural context, it just means, do you have a boyfriend? 남자친구 있어요? And then the person says, 아니요, 없어요. No, I don't have one. It doesn't exist. <laughs> 없어요, there is none. So then in the third box over, we have so hopefully you can tell that itta, that the isosoyo is the past tense because it's super long, right? So we're adding osoyo to itta. Same thing with opta, we have to add osoyo. So opsosoyo. So it's gonna look super long just because both itta and opta have the four. Um, character block. Uh, so it's going to look super complicated, but it is not, so never fear. Um, so again, that third box, Jemi Itta means to be fun or to have fun. So, Jemi Isosayo, was it fun? Anio, Jemi Opsoso. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I misread that. Ani. So I included this example on purpose because it's an example of the casual form. So, Ani. So again, if you take away yo from those, then it's like you're talking to a friend or someone younger than you. So we can see that the, the first person that asked is probably younger than the second person because they are speaking in the formal form. Then if we look at the bottom left hand corner, we have 질문 없어요. 질문 means question, and then 없어요. Are there, are there no questions? No questions? 질문 없어요. <laughs> Your teacher will probably ask you this a lot. And then someone can say, 네, 있어요. Yes, I have a question. 질문 없어요. 네, 있어요. So, um, and then the bottom middle is 한국에 있어요. 한국에, 한국 is Korea. And then a is the location marking particle. And then we have 있어요. So do you exist in Korea? Or does that thing, whatever you're talking about, exist in Korea? So if you say 한국에 있어요 to your friend, then, you, then the friend will say 네, 
if they're in Korea, or they can say 아니요 if they're not in Korea, if they went back to their, their home country. Um, and then the last example is 강아지 있어요? 강아지 is dog or puppy. 강아지 있어요? Do you have a dog? And 강아지를 좋아해요. I love dogs. <laughs> all right, that is all I have for you for this slide. So please go back and review if you had any um, questions about any of those. Good work today. 오늘 수고했어요. 다음에 봐요. Also, this is actually the last uh, video in the Korean language short course series. So thank you so, so much for learning with me for the past six weeks. It has been an absolute blast and a really awesome learning experience for me as well. Um, please, again, my email is always open. Um, just contact me if you have any questions. I This is absolutely my passion and I am super honored that you guys have allowed me to be part of your Korean language learning journey. Uh, so yeah, I'm really kind of sad that it's over, <laughs> but um, thank you for learning with me. And I will see you again very soon. Um, stay safe and 다음에 봐요.